do an accountability post yesterday because I had the day off. We had four days off. It was, yeah, Friday and Monday. I'm like, oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever done that um, in a very long time. So that was incredible. So I appreciate you seeing me post and knowing that we have a call today. And we're just going to jump into it. It's obviously the start of a month, right? It is September 4th. Hello, Tom. We welcome you. Um, so it's September 4th. Hi, Jenny. And we have big things happening this month. So I kind of want to start with... First of all, I had so many coaches that did flash sales over the long weekend. I had other coaches do other things to promote the end of the month. I would love to hear how you have kicked off September to a great start. So please unmute yourself. Don't make me come tickle you to make you, that's weird, sorry Tom, to make you speak, but I want to hear what you're all doing. Nothing. Horrible month, September 4th. Throw it in the back. I did a couple dream team coach invites this morning. Okay. How did that go? What'd you do? Uh, I, well, I wrote out a list over the weekend of dream teamers. I wrote out a list of coaches who like I definitely have in mind for the coaching opportunity and challenge group. And then I also wrote down like challengers I need to message and follow up with. So mm. I've been messaging them in the cracks of my day case and first preschool tomorrow thank the lord so <laughs> a little more time that's awesome but you know what i love that you're working off of that and i know that's probably one of the scariest lists to work off of but eating that frog first thing and just jumping into it um and i, I would say don't downplay the opportunity to create momentum with people getting back in the groove you know people eat a crap ton over labor day i know i ate like the biggest juiciest greasiest burger and french fries and i loved every moment of it and now today i'm like nah. I don't feel the best, you know? So it's like, get us why we're hot. People do it over the holidays, obviously. But I love that. So keep us in tune with how that goes. And I love that you're not taking no for an answer. You're going after them. It's cool. Tom, you're, you're unmuted. Do you want to go? Sure. Yeah, okay. so I'm struggling a little bit with trying to figure out how to uh, promote Lift 4. I'm loving it. Um, we're finishing our first round of it this week which is really cool. I chose not to run a second one last month because I was still engaging in the first one. And so what I wanted to do, I wanted to start another one in October. So what I'm going to do this month is just reach out to people who don't feel like they're ready for something like that and give them three weeks of pre uh, live for and uh, guide them through that so that they can have the confidence to get started in October. Cool. I love it. I love the fact that you're going to be doing another round. And I feel like, I think this is the thing is if you can um, really talk to the strength of four days a week, obviously, you know, they can work out from home. Um, they're going to get great results, whatever it may be. You know, obviously that can create some momentum and drive. And obviously it is scary, especially for women um, that maybe don't lift weights. Um, if you don't lift weights, I think you're cray cray. I love lifting weights. <laughs> like my, one of my most favorite things. But I would say, obviously, it's not for the masses, right? So what are you ladies doing? Help Mr. Tom out with what you're doing to help promote second round of round of lift four and maybe some things from your perspective that could help them with this. Great question. I think I'm just going about it um, as the lifestyle approach since I built my brand primarily around the fact that I hate working out. So I finally found a program that I actually tolerate, actually more than tolerate, I actually really like it. But um, it's like reminds me of Shalene Extreme in the best way. But um, I'm using it as the lifestyle approaches, like the four day a week is such a huge sales point for my market at least. And so just really um, taking away the result aspect from it for my tribe and focusing on the fact that it's for life long you know, health and not necessarily like for me, I've gained weight with it. I haven't seen tremendous results, but my mental part of it has been such a huge change that that's what I'm focusing on. And so kind of for me, what I do, what works for me is to have multiple programs in the same, I have like a big Facebook community that I've been building for like the last couple of years with my downline. And so I just mark it as like 
back to school. And I'll even say like when I'm on my Instagram stories, I'll be like, you know what, if you're like, you just want a nutrition program, like, you know, I've got a great thing for that. If you want to work on that, if you want to do four days a week, that's great. If you want, you know, I sort of like tell people like, I have something for everyone. Like I am here to help you reach your goals. And our fit fam is, so I really sell like the community and I'm like, we have a great community of people who have all different levels. Cause we do, it's true. I have people doing all the different programs there. Um, and then I have, I really, so I market our community and me as like the thing. And then when I talk to them, I get their goals. Then I like have them pick a program that fits. And if they're like nervous about lift four, I say, okay, let's have you do before lift four. Let's work on nutrition. Let's get some early wins. And then like they get in the group and go from there. So I have a huge mix of people. I have people who are just doing three day refresh and shakeology in my group. And then I have people who are doing 80 day obsession. And so for me, that works. I don't know. Ooh, these are all so good. And I really focus on, and this was mostly because that's my niche is the whole um, summer thing, the hiking and getting outside, because that's most of the people that I, I work with are, they're really into working out outside. And I'm like, yeah, but you know, you got to keep that muscle tone going and be able to haul your ass up a mountain, sorry, haul your booty up a mountain or whatever. And like, so that four days a week, I really push that as, so you do this, you know, 30 minutes or 40 minutes a day, and then you have three days to get out and, you know, do yoga one day and then go hiking or paddle boarding or whatever. So that was really my big thing. And what drew my niche into it was that thing. Cause I had kind of the same thing. I didn't have super epic results, but I also ate a little off, but you know, it opened me up and forced me to do more stuff outside and that kind of thing for the summer. So Jamie, I feel like you have something amazing. What are you doing, girl? It took a minute for my mouse to catch up to unmute myself. Well, this month, um, I feel like my month just started because I just got back from a diamond retreat with Ashley and Emily. Um, but I'm fired up and super ready to go. For me, Lift 4 is the same how I'm talking about it is the lifestyle kind of thing for me as well, especially with everybody getting back into school and back in like for parents, I feel like we always say that we don't have time because of the kids and the school activities and all that kind of stuff. And so I think lift four is perfect for people that do have their children in activities, soccer practices, cheer, all that kind of stuff afterwards. So I've been kind of thinking and going through that motion. And I'm not making that like super known on my page. I'm just individualizing it to my invites of when I do it. When If I know that there are people that have their kids that are crazy busy schedules with baseball and all that kind of stuff or whatever sport they're in, I just am focusing on how I feel like this program will benefit them for that. You rock, thank you. Yes, okay. Shannon, go. <laughs> I always, always, always promote weights because I believe they're the fountain of youth. They're the way you shape and firm. I always talk about it as shaping and firming and sculpting your body. Mm -hmm. Even if people like some people look at me and they like, they don't want to be that muscular, you know what I mean? But, but it's still, I always say, if you have parts that jiggle and you don't want them to jiggle, you need to lift weights, you know? And so, and lift four is just a perfect storm of the hit, the lifting, and the abs. Mm -hmm. And um, and I also talk about the benefits of hit workouts. You know, the the long, steady cardio is out. It's the the hit is where it's at for really burning fat and keeping that going. And then also for the muscle, muscle burns fat twenty four seven. The more muscle you have. You know, and I always share, I rarely do cardio. My physique is almost all from weight training and dialing in my diet. So uh, anyway, lift, lift four is great for people. Absolutely. I will just remind all of you, if you work out more than four days per week, maybe five days plus, you're a freak in nature. And I know this is our job, right? And it's like, no, somebody has to come in seven days a week. It's like, no, they really don't, you know? Um, so just remind yourself, I mean, this program, even though it, it does go heavy, somebody could do the first round with five or 10 pounds at most and then build up to more mass, obviously. 
And I think it is a reminder because a lot of you women did say, well, the scale didn't really change. Reminder, you know, obviously muscle weighs more than fat. And eventually you have, and I know it sucks. I, I get you, especially coming from 2B where you weigh yourself every single day. And then going to that and you're like, ah! like, you know what I mean? You're starting to see the, fluc the fluctuation. But I would just remind yourself is this program is actually more for the masses in a nutshell because people don't normally work out more than four days per week, but yet our job is to show up every single day and move our body. Right. So I would just remind yourself of that. But I love what Jenny said that you'd still, a, it, you are a one-stop shop. You know, people may come into this, especially for you, Tom. And you say, you know what, what like, and I love actually Emily Favre did say this. It makes me think of it is, you know, are you, are you interested in the nutrition program? Or are you interested in you know, working out along with nutrition and fitness, yada, yada, yada. And so you're, you're going to their needs. If they're like, no, I really need to dial in my, my nutrition. All right, awesome. Then it's to be, and it's just opening that library of everything that you have and saying, okay, what's going to work best for you. And I think the worst thing is pigeonholing them into a program that's, you know, not going to be suited for them. So I love the fact of opening it up. Okay. Um, yeah. Who unmuted themselves? Shannon. I did. Yeah, go. <laughs> I wanted to share one more thing really quick is even though I love to promote muscle, my groups, my group is, is a mix of every, everyone. And I'm super, super excited about a group that I'm putting together right now. Uh, that's going to be a generic info group for my team, for everyone to use. And it talks about the three step system of success, the fitness plus the nutrition plus the support. And in the nutrition, part of the units is, is, choose your uh, eating strategy where I give them the portion fix or to be mindset and um, and throughout the whole thing and like I'm going to have a featured program like whatever might be on sale or the whatever the flavor of the month is you know whatever the VIP early access is or whatever so I can always just change that out but it's going to be one info group and then you help them decide on which piece they want and customize it towards them. And I'm even going to jump, dump people in there that are, our conversation may have just be about to be mindset, but I'm going to put them in there so they get the full picture anyway, but just guide them and say, I, I want you to look at all of this, but the to be mindset info is in here also. I'm sure. super excited about it. For sure. Let us know how it goes. But I love that. I feel like you are a one-stop shop. And I feel like even though we tend to do this, it's like, oh, new squirrel. Like we shift our focus a thousand percent. I still truly believe that to be mindset still needs to be at the forefront of every single conversation. And I say that because that's when you're starting to help the masses. That is something that we've never had before, you know, a nutrition purposeful um, program that truly can help people overcome so many things. And so I would say, don't ever throw 2B or any other program at the wayside. Like if it didn't work for you, great, but you got the knowledge to understand what it can do to help others. Right. Um, but I really, truly feel like if you put 2B with whatever program comes out and you can say, Hey, you're focusing on A, B or C. All right. Awesome. This would be my suggestion, you know, rather than the pitch and holding them into a specific program. But I, I would, I would say this, if 2B, or excuse me, if Lift 4 has worked amazing for you and your first challenge group was, challenge group was incredible, go for it next. Um, Kate, go. Um, so funny what you just said about 2B and leading with that. One of my coaches just posted in our team page yesterday that she had to call and update her card for her business service fee because her card got stolen or for whatever reason. But they pitched her on the phone. They're like, oh, we realize that you haven't used to be mindset yet and they pitched her and they're like do you want to take care of that right now and she was like if coach relations can pitch it to every coach like why aren't we pitching it to every person too um and i just use share cart scripts and like the ones that i use amy um silverman kind of modified from danielle natoni and that's really helped because no matter what i'm getting them started with whether it is just um to be mindset or it is, um, the lift four challenge pack. It's always like, do you want energized? Do you want recover? Do you want portion fix? Do you want this nutrition program? So generally they're always getting something else. And even if they say that they're not interested, I normally throw in a sampler pack of something, whether it's energized, whether it's the supplements. And I always explain that they can remove it, but 99% of the time they always want to try that. Um, yeah. And I'll share those scripts in the group. Um, but that's really helped because it helps boost volume too and gets people away from like you know, all the ish that's in there. And it also offers the beach bars. Um, 
but I wanted to show what I'm doing. So I liked Live 4, but I loved ADD Obsession more. And I'm the person who I realized, like, I just liked the structure better. Um, and a lot of the girls in my group did. We have a mixed group too. Um, but what I'm doing right now is I'm going to do what I do every fall. It's like a fall back to basics <laughs> challenge. And that's what I'm going to start advertising today. Um, but what I'm also doing is reaching out to all my personally sponsored coaches and actually going to do it for my downline and send out a newsletter just to get people re-engaged in their fitness and also offer to be mindset if they haven't got started with it because what I realized is this year or this time of year like going into the end of third and starting fourth is where everybody falls off and like I want to send just that personal message so they know they're not forgotten about and even if they're not like actively working then we can boost volume with their whatever but getting them started on their fitness um, just so that they can feel good again you rock. Thank you. I love the fallback to basics. So if you, I know we do it every single year and some things we forget, but I love that you're redoing that. And I would remind all of you to do exactly that. I think that's great. Okay. What else are we doing to create an amazing September? And I think it's just a friendly reminder. This is the last push of Q3. And then we go into that Q4 where it is holiday season, right? It's like, Holy crap, one after another. So the, the momentum, the drive that you put towards your business right now, and then of course, you know, the showing up every single day. You know, I, I always tell my coaches, January will be your biggest month if you show up, October, November, December. They wanna see you showing up, no excuses, and they know that you will hold them accountable because you did for yourself the entire, the hardest time of the year, right? So what are we doing in September specifically, if it's a flash sale, if it's, you know, whatever it may be, but what are we doing to make it a great month? Hey, Brittany, it's Heather. Hi. Um, so we usually run an annual um, back to school, back to you challenge. Um, it's 21 days and we do it as a team. So I have probably 10 people in my downline um, and we're, we all co-lead, we take turns posting in the group daily, and we all invite our participants. Um, and we even invite coaches who are kind of just discount coaches to reel them in and encourage them to in, try to invite a friend or family member for accountability. Um, and we don't focus on a specific program, but the theme of the challenge, and because uh, I work with a lot of moms and a lot of my coaches are moms, we tend to go the route of uh, family health and how do you manage busy schedules and how do you make quick and easy snacks for your kids. And so throughout the challenge, we actually try to highlight all of the different products. So whether it's beach bars or daily sunshine or Shakeology or the portion containers or, I mean, really trying to touch on everything. And then obviously talking about how beach body on demand is so convenient, um, regardless really of the program that you're doing, because uh, you can do it anytime and anywhere. Um, so again, we don't really focus on a specific program, but it tends to be a very popular time of year for people to get back on track. So we really try to, hey, we know we've all gained weight. I actually had a coach who did this awesome post. It was a before and after, but her before was after she had done the 21 day reset. And the after was her having gained weight over the summer because she was traveling and you know, maybe not being as good about her food. And so I thought that was a really creative post because it's showing everyone that, yeah, we all kind of gain weight over the summer and our schedules are crazy and thing, there is no set schedule. Well, now it's time to get back to you. Let's, let's get focused. So one of the things that we do is we create a Google form that um, basically it's an interest form. Um, so after we've created our Facebook event and we've invited people to that event, in, that, in the description, there's a link for them to fill out an interest form. And we ask them just a bunch of questions. Well, not a bunch, just maybe like five questions. And one of them is asking them specifically about their nutrition and what they struggle with. And the, the answer, we give them answers so that they don't just say, oh, I don't know what to eat or and, and the answers basically kind of point, do, is it emotional eating? Is it, I don't know how much portions? Is it, I skip meals? And that way, when they answer those questions, you kind of know which nutrition tools to, to send them to. Um, and the same thing with fitness. We ask them what they struggle with fitness. And we say, you know, I don't have a gym membership. I don't know what to do. I don't have time. And then again, based on how they answer, 
we can give them some suggestions. So I find that's really helpful. So when I actually get on the phone with them or if we're messaging, however we're doing it, I, I can say these are the three things that I, you know, would suggest which one sounds good to you. And I just wanted to add that I, I did try that um, adding to share a cart because I had just heard about that and I would love to see whatever the scripts were. I think, was it Jamie that said she had them? Um, I have a, a customer who wanted to do a three day refresh and she didn't have the portion containers. So I added that, that in there and she has a lot of allergies. So she couldn't do Shakeology. Um, and I don't think she could do the beach bars, but I put them in there anyway. And I put the energize in there and I said, Hey, just wanted to let you know, I started your three day refresh, but I added these couple of items. Cause I think either you or your kids would like them The energize. I love, I use it every day. And she ended up buying the energize. She couldn't do the bars because of allergies, but it worked. So my, it was nice to go in there and see that she bought extra stuff beyond what we had originally talked about. So those are my ideas. I love it. And, uh, and just to follow up that, you know, it does work as far as the share cart and Danielle, and I know she's going to share those, but the most important thing that she asks is like, okay, first and foremost, what do you do for caffeine in the morning? And what bars do you eat? Like she asked those two questions. So she says, okay, perfect. I've added those two items that I know that I absolutely love. It can take place of what you're currently using, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, talks to it. And it's, it obviously will increase the, I think the, the problem that we run into is when you just add stuff and you don't tell them and they're like, wait a second. And they're feeling sold rather than, you know, addressing it beforehand and then adding it on. So I love that you did that. I love that you tried it. And now you're like, okay, it works. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I will definitely do it more often, but I do agree. Like I, I would never just add stuff and not let them know. I would add, send the order and right away message them. Just wanted to let you know, I added these and this is why I thought, you know, based on what you said, you might like this, or I love this product. You may want to try it too. And if you don't want anything, just X them out. No big deal. Absolutely. Um, just to kind of piggyback all that. Um, I used to get like really stuck in my head about like suggestive selling after like a challenge pack or whatever like I don't want to seem greedy like I'm you know like trying to like sell more things or whatever even though I knew those things and believed those things could give people better results and I believed in those products but I'm like really obsessed with Grant Cardone right now like I read 10x rule and now I'm like reading all of his books and like I'm just obsessed with him um but one of the books that I'm reading right now he like swears that second money is easier than first money and so like I read that like last month and he was like, people love to upgrade. Like once they say yes to a challenge pack, they love to add things on. And he was like giving all these examples. Like when people buy a car, they want to, you know, upgrade to a sunroof and alloy wheels and you know, all these things. And so like last month I literally was like, okay, I'm just going to try it. Like every single challenge pack, I'm going to ask about a three day refresher. I mean, usually I always add, asked about energize or recover just because that was like something I believed in anyways, but you know, but like beach bars or whatever. And I would say like probably eight out of 10 people added something. And I was like, what, what was holding me back this whole time? You know, just like this limiting belief that like I was going to come across greedy when I knew that these things were going to give people better results. So, um, it like, I just, I know you already said it works, but I just agree. Um, one thing that we're doing this week is um, a free group on Wednesday. We're just doing like a five day um, like healthy eating challenge um, for our baby coaches just to help them fill their funnel and get them comfortable like inviting. Um, and then I am really utilizing like my push chat that you guys all suggested for my coaches that are pushing. Um, and I used Renee's idea to find out what their goals were. I've really been utilizing like all your guys ideas. <laughs> so I really, really appreciate them. Um, and I, you know, found out what coaches had really big goals actually. And so we've been using that push chat and, um, I really, for me with lift Four, you guys, like short workouts is what sold me on beach body. Like I didn't think that I had time to work out and that I could do workouts that were, you know, I was 50 pounds overweight. I had high blood pressure. Like it was super unhealthy. So I didn't think I could do more than like 
I started with 22 minute hardcore. And so I've been like posting old videos of me when I was working out 50 pounds overweight, like all my stories. So like I show people like I didn't, I couldn't do a push up, <laughs> and I couldn't like even, you know, do a jumping jack or lift weights or whatever. And like, this is what it looked like. And now look at me, you know, because a lot of times like I'll post pictures on my stories and maybe I'm chest pressing, you know, 25 pounds and people are like, I can't do that. But you know, if I show old stories of like, this is where I started from, um, then I think people are more apt to be like, I could do that too. And like, see the fact that like, you know, that maybe success is possible for them too. So I think it's really important to like, not forget where we, where we came from and to show people that, you know, that they could do it too. So good. I love, okay. So going back to and Grant Cardone, if you haven't listened to him recently, I mean, he will fire you up. No. And some of his stuff is quirky and makes me giggle. And I don't know if I've said this to you before, but the part where he's like, I will never go out to dinner with my wife and it not be a business deal. And I'm like, Oh, you're stupid. Like if Tom, don't ever do that. Okay. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> I was like, uh, no. And then I have some coaches that are like, no, I love that. It's like, okay, cool. But he will fire you into action. So I love that you took the advice with it and rolled with it. The beautiful thing is once you overcome that objection, and that limiting belief in your mindset, then you can start teaching people and it starts to trickle down. So just remind yourself, okay, is my team struggling with ABC? If they are, it's probably because you're struggling with it as well. So it's an opportunity for you to kind of nip it in the butt and push forward. So I, I feel like, Leslie, you have overcome a ton with that. And I know a lot of coaches have a really hard time with that. So I would suggest if you have any, like need any inspiration or questions, just ask her on it and she can obviously help you, you know, overcome that. But that's a huge, 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 one. I love the fact too of the showing where you have come from, you know, obviously, and it, it is hard if, because now also Leslie, you'll attract a lot of people that are 50 pounds overweight and you know, they will be a challenger for quite some time, but those are your challengers, right? And, but I love the fact of you showing where you came from, how much you have progressed and grown, how you're becoming a better version of yourself along the way. So I love that you're doing that. Um, and then of course, you know, you have to speak to what you're passionate about. There's some programs that I have done that I'm like, oh no, I don't know, you know, but at least you know it, you know the education behind it and you know what you truly are passionate about. So I love all, that you brought all that up. Okay, let's keep going. Jamie, I have to ask you because you just said you came back from a retreat. Obviously that's kind of a big one with Ashley and Emily Favre. So can you can share you us any enlightenment of, you know, Anything that you learned that you're like, wow, I'm going to start implementing this. I'm moving forward with this, that type of stuff. Um, well, it was amazing. I'm exhausted today, but uh, I learned a lot. Actually, Carl Deichler um, was able to come and he was there. And then Autumn Calvary's came and did a workout with us as well, which that was really fun. Um, but uh, honestly, like, I feel like there's so many things like, do your invites and show up every day and be consistent. And it's just stuff that we already know. But I think going on this, what I learned the most is that Carl, Autumn, Emily, Ashley, there's nothing special about any of them to on how, where they're at and how they're so successful. And even Autumn shared her story with us. Like she has gone through a whole lot with her life even. And I think, the biggest thing that I learned is that, and it sounds so cliche, but the only thing, reason, only thing holding us back is us, you know, because there isn't any, I feel like we do all these mastermind calls and stuff and I love it because it gives you ideas and stuff, but it's all such simple, basic things. Like we live our lives. We it just like a little kid to me, you know, like you just walk and you just keep doing the same things and then you learn more and more um, and you get better at it, but you have to continuously do it. And so I didn't get like, cause all the stuff I'm kind of an, what they call an OG on the team, you know? So a lot of the stuff that they teach, you know, are all things that I know it's just implementing it and making sure it works and just knowing that timing is always going to work out the way it's supposed to. So I don't know, like there's just like showing up every day and stop making excuses. Um, when you say that you're working, are you actually working? Um, 
putting business hours because I think working at home and even for me, I'm a stay at home. I work from home, stay at home mom, but both my kids, they're twins. They're both in school right now. And it's easy to say, I'm so busy and you're cleaning and doing all this stuff and you were working, but did, did I put in enough work for, you know, my business, not just the around the house kind of stuff. And like, if I worked outside of the home, like, oh, sorry, sorry, you're good. Um, when I worked outside of, if I worked outside of the home, like I wouldn't have had time to do laundry and catch up on, uh, the dishes and all that kind of stuff. Like, and just knowing that I need to focus on that, but I don't know, it was just so eye opening. And then just to be able to be there. Cause I got to go a little bit earlier. Um, but just to be able to, I didn't have to pay like anything like Ashley and Emily, like they handled all of it. And so I loved, I cannot even wait for the moment where I'm like, I could rent a mansion in Beverly Hills and have all of you guys come 32 girls and pay for every single thing to make sure that you have the most wonderful time. To me, that was like, this is so fun to be able to give back. Um, for me that like lit a fire because it, I thought it was just so cool. So I don't know. I, I feel like, there's not anything super spectacular, you know, like we, you just talk about the same things over and over and it, there's just nothing super special, just like losing weight. Like you just show up, you do your workouts, you eat healthy and you just, there's just no secret sauce to it all, you know? And so I just think it opened my eyes to the possibilities and that even more so, and that I'm deserving of it, which is kind of a weird thing to think. So, no, for sure. And I will say this. Um, I think the hardest part is we try to be perfect. We try to get all of our systems perfect. We try, you know, it's like we have to have A, B, C, D perfectly done before we can invite. And honestly, the invite should be done way before all of those things happen. You know, when you hear um, something on the national wake up call, and then you go re, re, do your entire, you know, getting started right or whatever it may be, but yet your system worked. It's like, okay, stop. Like the invite should be the most important thing over anything else because the invite is what moves our business forward. And I love that you said, you know, there's nothing special about these people. No, they put in the hard work. They showed up every single day. And, you know, Jamie, I mean, has the opportunity. Yes, she's on a number one, you know, team and, and that's incredible. But I will say this back when Ashley, you know, when Ashley was an exec at Nike and when she, she was more successful in her business when she was doing this part-time because she had those structured hours. She, you know, put her head down, put it and, and went to work. And then when she retired, and this was a couple of years ago, um, all of a sudden her business declined. And it's because all of a sudden you feel like you have so much time, so much energy, you can do all these things and change all these systems. And it's like, yeah, what was working previously that made you successful? So I think it's just a healthy reminder. It's like, okay, it doesn't matter what you do within this business as far as, I mean, you can make everything pretty and everything showcase and everything perfect for your team. But at the end of the day, if you're not doing the basics and showing up and the consistency, nothing will come together. Like just yeah. bluntly honest. Well, and something to add to that, when I signed up with Ashley, that was when she was still working at Nike. Mm -hmm. And I remember seeing her go through her highs and her lows and thinking, okay, she's still doing it. She's still doing it. But never in a million years did she say, oh, my goal is to be number one in the company. She still showed up. And even when she got pregnant, she hated being pregnant. And she didn't really want to be pregnant. And she talks about that, so I'm allowed to share it. But, uh, but also something that we had talked about when, she, when her energy was stressed, she didn't like pregnancy, she was miserable, it affected, and I would never sit there and look back and be like, oh, you're the reason I didn't move, rank advance, or you're the reason I didn't do that, because it's not like she's not the reason, but it trickles down, just like when you're in a bad mood, it trickles down to your kids, you don't realize it, kind of a thing, and so, and then when she had Revy, and she started finding herself again, a the momentum and everything completely 100% changed. 
So I also think being really mindful of doing your personal development and realizing that whatever mood that you're in, if you're stressed, if you're sad, if you're angry or whatever, even if your team is not in these four walls of your house, like they're going to feel that energy some way, somehow. And so realizing that speed of the leader is truly the speed of your pack. And I know it, there's perks of being on the number one and number two team, but I wasn't always on the number one and number two team. They definitely earned um, their way to it, but I feel like I'm mostly blessed that I was started with them from the very beginning. And then now they're at where they're at. Now. Sorry. <laughs> You are just finding, um, and it makes me actually think of, so I had Christina Delgado on my five day start. I'm in mastermind call today and she reiterated energy transfers. And so I love that you say that wherever you're at within this business. And she said that she, you know, and I will share this call in our mastermind because I think it's very powerful, but you know, she's in a season right now where she is not doing a ton of, um, one-on-ones and it's because energy transfer. She's in a position in her business where she's just feeling kind of down in the dumps. And she's like, as of right now, it takes a lot for me to spill into people. And so, and I know right now my energy is in a different area. So I know I, and I'm not telling you to take a step back, but I would say this, there's a couple of ways that you can handle that. You can start giving a ton. You know, when you start helping other people be successful, giving to others that can typically change your energy and your mood. But I would just remind you that your energy transfers, if you're feeling impatient, um, very, I don't want to say needy, but kind of, you're like, oh my gosh, I need to get another challenge packet. It's all about the challenge packet and all about the points that energy transfers. When you're in a very calm, collective state within your business and you're like, you know what, I know, I know what it will take for this business to be successful. I have to show up every single day. I have to give 110%. I have to be, you know, positive, powerful, whatever those words are. When you show up like that, it comes off differently. Yeah. And then another thing that goes right to that where I had like a personal epiphany that I just thought really was mind blowing. If you look, if you notice in your business, everyone has their ups and downs. Okay. And subconsciously I was having my ups and downs and consciously I knew when I was having them, but what I didn't realize is it was happening around the exact same time every year. And I had no idea why. And I didn't even realize it until, you know, how like on this day on Facebook and it's like in, in June, last year, June was incredibly hard. This year, June was really, really hard. And I'm like, what the heck? And I, and then I was looking at my Facebook thing and I'm like, wow, every single June, I'm very much in a depression in a depression and not trying to get all down or whatever. But I realized that June is the same month that my mom passed away when I was 16 years old of a drug overdose. And so I'm like, okay, now I know that subconsciously, I feel like I just feel like this is a sad month, but it doesn't have to be a sad month. It doesn't have to be a hard month and it doesn't have to be a month where my business goes down. And then the same for August. August was always kind of a hard month for me. And I was kind of being mindful of that after I realized with June, I'm like, August is a hard month for me too. I struggled really bad with my life and going to school was the most terrifying thing ever. And when August hit, it meant school was coming and it was so hard for me and I didn't want to do it. And so I completely changed my mindset on that. And I'm realizing the triggers, so the energy transfers and all that, like we have patterns that we don't even realize of when our energies are at the our high highs and our low lows. And I feel like it's super important that we pay attention to that because we do not have to have hard months in those months. We can choose to have good months, but we just have to be mindful of, okay, this is why this is a hard month, makes sense, but now it's not going to have control over me like I I wasn't realizing that it did. Extremely powerful. I think that speaks to wherever you are at within this business. But, and I will, I mean, this business, it pulls out the good, the bad, the ugly, because you get so vulnerable and raw with yourself, right? You're becoming the better version of yourself. And so it's easy for that old mindset, old mentality to creep back in. And so I would say lean on your fellow coaches, lean on, and, it, and it's amazing when you can be very vulnerable and very real and raw with your coaches and say, you know, I'm at this point and I need your help. You know, and they're like, well, I look up to you and it's like, no, no, no. 
I want to be able to look up to you, you know, and it, it becomes a, and I would just remind yourself, I am here as a CEO, as an entrepreneur, and I manage, lead and guide other CEOs to success. That means they're on the same level as you. Nobody's below you. We don't have employees. Tom has plenty of employees at his supermarket. Like that's right. Holy hit my head against the wall. I'm like, I will never have employees again. And I, it is because you push them uphill. Like it's like, Holy crap, you can do it. I promise. So I would just remind yourself that like, start to understand where you're at. I know that we kind of went left field on this, but I love this so much because it's a huge epiphany and it's just time for you to recognize where you're at within this business. If you think Q4 is hard, guess what? It will be extremely hard. It's the, the busiest season as far as holidays go. But that's what I would remind you is that's where my leaders dig in with no excuses because they know what they know regardless of the results that are happening in September, October, November, December, they're going to show up in January. And so if you stay stagnant and stale in those months, it is so hard to have the best month in 2019 when our business is exploding because it's a reminder we're a one-stop shop when it comes to nutrition, fitness, and increasing wealth, right? My favorite time in. The yes, I agree. I agree. Actually, like I love that you said that. I just did a video about this for my team and like a check-in. But like I every year, like I, like it's not just reframing it. Although I, you could also reframe it if you're thinking negatively. I love it personally. Like everyone goes back to school. There's not this oh summer this summer that. I'm not around. My kids are around. Like everyone wants your team. You if they're not ready, then you they're always like. I don't know. I just started school. So then great. You follow up with them in December. Right. And then I love the people that come on in December. It's fewer, but they're always like really motivated. And then they come out as these great coaches who are like, Oh my gosh, I got through the holidays and I lost five pounds. And they're like your lifers. Cause if they join you in September, October, November, December, like they will be your lifers forever because they're like really ready. Um, and then you get all these cool people and the new coaches that start have like people that invite and follow up in January. Like for me, like this is where our business is built. And then like, like the time, like heading into summer, like just for me, all my best coaches, if I look back, they all started in September to December personally. So I don't know. I mean, it's all about how you think about it, but so I did, I like went on my page this weekend over Labor Day and I was like, okay, like summer's over. Like who is in there? This is no better time to build your business than right now. Like, you know, the, there's an analogy. Someone said like, if you were opening a gym in January, you wouldn't just like hang your shingle on January 1st and expect like everyone to come join you. No, you would have to like get the word of mouth out and start earlier because they're not, you know, it's the same idea. Like, so I tell people like, don't think you're going to start your business in January. You've got to start now. And like, so anyway, that's like, I'm fired up. I love this time of year personally. I know for sure. And I, I love that you see it that way. And I say that because also it's a reminder. Think of all the goals that everybody has set January 1, 2018, 99% of the people, okay, let's say 90% of the people haven't even accomplished anything off of those. And now it's like, holy crap, I have to accomplish all these things in now four months that I could have accomplished in 12, right? So now they're heightened awareness. And, and I think bringing that back in the forefront, especially with your coaches, like, hey, what were your goals in the beginning of 2018? Okay, let's start accomplishing those right now. We have four months. And when there's a deadline, they're going to make it happen. But when you have 12 months, it's like, oh, that's easy, right? So bring that to your forefront. Ashley, what, what were you going to say, girl? I was just going to totally agree. I think it's such a powerful time of year. We teach that it's the time to plant seeds. And like, we really use that metaphor of like, just keep planting the seeds, planting the seeds. And I think one of the best ways I've done that is, you know, it's a hard time of year coming up for a lot of people. It's like stressful and emotional and can be like a really negative time in your head. Like if you're not doing enough for your kids, Christmas time and just whatever. And so I find that I can give such tremendous value to people this time of year to help them in those negative patterns and doing like, you know, how you talk to yourself. I do a lot of like negative self-talk um, free groups and self-love and self-care free groups and just like don't yell at your kids groups, like more just like really tuning into their specific needs to add such good value because it is so stressful. And then you're really just planting those seeds so that then come January, they grab your hand. And I love what Jenny said about those people that come in December, they're like such go-getters. So I totally agree. Even though this is my first fall, I'm actually like really excited for fall. But um, I, it's such a good time of year for sure. This was a good call today. I know it was totally random. Nikki, go. But I love this. Go. I just wanted to um, share about the two-day flash sale. Our, our team did end up doing it. And I just really speak to the energy part of it. You know, being um, 
you know, it, we, it gets to be mundane, you know, inviting and doing the same thing over and over. And just the splash sale was just such a great like energy boost for the team, just something new, exciting to focus on. Um, and we had, um, coaches who, you know, kind of just were like, eh, and then they got in and saw the quick wins and they were just really excited. Um, but I think you just have to, for me, um, being in it a while, you know, find what sometimes you may not lose the passion, but just not as excited as other times. And, you know, product launches are obviously a great time, but in between product launches, you know, finding what going to keep you excited to spark your fire again and um, what we're going to be doing the last four months of the month of the year is our own health bet so two years ago I think it was um, corporate led the health bet and um, obviously we're not going to be giving away money but um, basically you pay in your ten dollars and you log your five um, five workouts and five shakeologies and if you do that all four weeks of the month you get your money back and if you don't, um, then you lose it. And those who did split the pot of the of, of those who didn't. So it's just kind of an extra little something to keep people engaged and excited versus um, doing a specific program. So I just wanted to share that. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing that. And I think it's a, a nice reminder because uh, I see these things kind of getting thrown my way is don't ever discount Shakeology. Don't say it's 75% off. I had a coach actually say that, like, can I promote it? 70? And I'm like, no, you're going to kill your business the next month, A, and then you're going to have all these coaches that see your post and send it to compliance and freak out. Okay, so don't do that. Um, but the second thing is what you can offer is gift cards in the amount of $25 and less if they do purchase like to Amazon. It's not, you can't give cash back, but you could like if they buy so-and-so $10 or whatever, you know, but I would also remind yourself, this is a business and don't ever discredit yourself so much that you are having to pay out. That's not smart business, but I love that you brought that up. Anything to create the excitement. And I, and like you were saying, you know, some people were like, eh, but once they got into it, it was exciting. And then they see that it's, you know, it, it becomes, it's an opportunity for them to get the wins that they need to create the momentum to, you know, create a, an awesome September. So I love that you brought that up. Okay. Let's wrap this little call up. I, I think from here, and if anybody else wants to say anything, please do is just push forward with September, go in there, remind yourself energy transfers. How I'm, how am I going to create this month differently? If you need a big kick in the booty, kick in the ass, whatever you want to say, sorry. Um, actually I'm not, I can say, but ass, whatever. Um, Go listen to some Grant Cardone. Go listen to him. He'll and just kind of giggle at some of his stuff. He's off the wall, and some you're like, okay, whatever. But he'll fire you up into action. I have a coach specifically that has been doing his closing um, techniques, and it is on Audible and using that and how to overcome, you know, people saying no or hesitant to spending money, whatever it may be. And it's really helped them. So find something and just really dig into it, but remind yourself, I'm going to create energy. I'm going to create excitement. We're going to, you know, build off into an amazing Q4 because that shapes my business of Q1 in 2019. Um, yes. Pumpkin Shakeology. Is there anybody, let's ask that question real quickly because it does come out on the 17th. Is there anybody that has a system for Pumpkin Shakeology real quick? And if you haven't even thought about it, you're good. I'll start formulating kind of what we're going to do on the next call. So it'll be good. This isn't like anything big. I'm just sending it right now. I haven't really advertised it on my social media at all, but I have like mentioned it in my newsletter when I send out a weekly newsletter and there's people on my newsletter, it's all my customer base. And then it's people who I've talked to. So anybody who's given me their email, I add them. So like PSL is just a big draw. So I'm just kind of trying to build a hype right now. I haven't really advertised for it also because a lot of it, I've seen people freaking out already about it selling out. So um, I'm just kind of promoting it right now to the current people in my web. For sure. Thank you. Okay. Start thinking about that pumpkin spice shake ology. I've tried it. It's pretty dang amazing. Just putting it out there. Um, no, I don't think there is any, they have not tied any SE to it. Yeah. But you know what? $75 it's, you know, there it's 14 packets. It's not, yeah, there's no way that actually they could put tie SE points to that. Um, all right, let's sum this little call up. I will put the Christina Delgado. I'll actually put a couple in there. I'll do a post with some of my favorites that have spoke on my five to eights this year. Um, there's a, a Kim Fitzpatrick. There's um, Danielle and Tony that did last quarters. So I'll put a couple in there and you guys, you know, use them 
absolutely. If you want to share them with your team, great, do it. Um, but don't allow that to be one extra squirrel that you feel like you have to do that before you go and do your power hour and before you invite, okay? You do those things first and then this is your extra credit, your little win of what you can do once you do those things. Sound good? Okay, ladies and gents, I appreciate you showing up today. I'll see you next week for sure, all right? See you later.